Welcome back to Gorgeous Blokes. Um, I, I was so disturbed by that last uh, that last AGP. I, I, I had to take a breather. That was I needed a spiritual cleanse. I had to walk outside and, and reset my nervous system. That that was really fucked up, dude. That man. Whoa. But you know, now that I've gotten that out of my system, let's let's go back to the blokes. Let's see what the blokes are doing. Ah! Just me, my normal day today look, but I like me today. 66 year old HRT, 38 months. Man, you know, I, I know I'm having a good time, but I, I do really, I feel so bad for lesbians um, because the all the, these are all the guys on, on the lesbian apps, unaltered selfie. Pfft, yeah, okay, sure. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can tell. I can hear that guy's accent, right? You know, he's like, oh, I'm having a great time being 66. Yeah, male pattern baldness right there. There's nothing you can do. They try. Why do they? I don't know why they choose to have their hair part there. I feel like it draws more attention. You would think maybe the middle part. Then again, I don't know. I, I don't know how hair looks. Um, I don't know how I would do my hair with male pattern baldness because I'm a female and I don't have that. Oh, who's the guy that played Bilbo Baggins? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like butter spread too thin over a piece of toast. And other days I remember I'm a man, man. <laughs> oi, oi. The eyes. I'm not quite sure if he's seen the horse <laughs> porn yet, but please, he's curious. He's definitely curious. Oh, behave. Third time doing my own makeup. Can't wait for my hair appointment. Oh. I already know this is gonna be, mm. okay, well, we got a big, here we go, we got a seven head coming. Oh my God. Bro, bro, third time doing your makeup. What makeup? Are you talking about this little bit of blush and eyeliner? Um, okay, let's see the foundation. So the foundation doesn't sit right on your chin because of your your um, <clears throat> five o'clock shadow. It's never gonna sit right, even with electrolysis. Because you know, if you if you remember uh, electrolysis, Brittany, um, with his fucked up face with all the electrolysis, it, it doesn't it doesn't make it look any better. No amount of electrolysis is gonna get rid of that shadow. Um, and actually, I will tell you this right now, putting foundation on top of it actually makes it more noticeable. I know you think that it doesn't, um, but it does. It draws the eye because what's that weird shadow that doesn't blend in with the rest of what's going on up here? Uh, and it's 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 five o'clocker, you know, it's a five o'clocker. That's, 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 oof. Okay, so the eyes, let's look into the eyes. Look into my eyes. So he does, he hasn't gone Perkins. He doesn't have the Perkins smile yet. Um, the eyes, I still see a little bit of life in there. So, um, you know, I think he has time. Does it say, it's his third time doing his makeup. So I don't think he's been doing this for too long, male pattern baldness. And uh, because of that, I, I do think there's still time for you to to uh, to get out of, of this lifestyle. I don't think you will though, because uh, you, don't, you don't seem to be somebody who has a lot of self-control. You choose to live this way. Um, so, you know. Thank you to everyone who supported me and gave me some advice. I decided to start the process transition. Again, these people don't know how to write a sentence. And I hope that it will be a quick journey. It won't. And positive results. Nope, you won't get any. I need your support because I don't know what will happen. I'll tell you what will happen is the um, <clears throat> the cross-sex hormones that you're going to pump into your body, um, they're going to fuck up your your like endocrine system. Uh, you're going to fuck up your, uh, your, your spleen. 
Um, it's going to give you a higher risk of Alzheimer's and dementia. You, you, you could even take this so far. If you devolve as, as far as you can, you, you could get early onset dementia. And uh, there will be times where you'll, you're going to remember that you're a man and you're going to look down at your mutilated body and your, your softball tits and, um, you know, have, a, have some sort of panic attack or, or, or break because you're going to remember that you're a man. You're going to say, what happened? I, I don't I don't, what, who's, whose body is this? It's not my body. And, uh, you know, then people are just going to have to tell you over and over again. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> here's the thing. You're stunning and brave. Uh, were you not aware that you're stunning and brave? <laughs> you know, but, but you can avoid that by not taking estrogen. Um, I, I feel like that's not going to happen because you're listening to these men when they tell you yes to, um, you need to, you need to transmax. Um, you, need, you need your girl juice and your titty skittles because, um, you know, it's going to make you feel so, so good. Granted, those those feelings at first, they will be psychosomatic. Um, you know, it will definitely make you more emotional, not because women are more emotional, but because you're fucking up your hormones. Um, you're not supposed to have that amount of estrogen and, and, and progesterone. And, and I know you're going to take spiro, so that's going to uh, affect your ability to get erections. Um, I don't have personal experience with this, but but I, I can approximate from the fact that I, 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 I used to be friends with some AGPs, and, and their dicks didn't work so much, which is probably why it makes it easier to do things like an orchiectomy, um, which, which my AGP friend eventually did after his facial feminization surgery, just kind of highlighted how, um, you know, even if you shave down a brow ridge, you're still going to have, have a man face, you know, and, and here's the thing. This is why I wanted to put on some makeup today because see this brow ridge, right? Right. You know, it's, you're not going to get that because you don't have a, you're just fucking ugly. You don't have a, a female skull. All right. Well, let's see. Oh no. Oh, he's a first responder too. He's a he's a paramedic. If you're in the medical profession and, and you're going to transition, you, you've really lost this plot. I know that there's a lot of propaganda out there, but you know you, you should be terminally curious uh, uh, because in no time in human history has it gotten this crazy. Um, you know, I know we can go into Magnus Hirschfeld. That guy was a fucking crazy ass deviant individual, and he makes Jews look bad. Uh, I, I'll say that right now. Uh, he's, he's, he's an un-Jew. I, I don't accept him. Uh, he was he was cutting off people's body parts, trying to help AGPs, um, implanting um, the testicles, the you know, the, the testes of uh, heterosexual men into gay men, because that might turn them straight. He, he was a psychopath. And actually, in fact, some of the doctors that he worked with, and granted, if you don't know who Magnus Richfeld is, real, real quick, he was, he was a, a, a psychotic uh, sort of Dr. Jekyll in the Weimar era, uh, who had his, his sex institute burned down because he was a gay Jew, um, you know, but I don't think that was a, you know, burning places down because you don't like them isn't, isn't good. But I, I do, I did have, I have concerns with, with what was going on at that institute. I, I think it's for the best that it was shut down. Obviously, this is not uh, Nazi apologism, um, you know, because... <laughs> Yeah, so some of the a couple of the doctors that he um, <clears throat> recruited, they actually went on to do uh, continue those surgeries and experiments in Dachau concentration camp. So you know, fuck that guy. I don't even know how I got onto this. Oh, he's a paramedic. If I'm having a medical emergency and this fucking bloke shows up, if there's an AGP that's come to rescue me, I'm gonna say, you know what? I'd actually rather die. I'd rather perish. I don't want this man's baseball mitt hands on me and I certainly don't want him carrying me uh, on his bozo feet so let's see Ugh, I'm so nervous face app filtered okay all right thanks for giving me the heads up oh it's filtered no way this is not th what is is there here, let's see. Oh, there's... yeah that's that's fake that's AI generated this is, this is what he's aiming for. I'm going to tell you right now, you're never going to get there. Never going to get it, 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 never going to get it. Because you're a man. And it's interesting though, you know what I realized? The face tune, it makes the pornogami eyes even more. I don't even believe this is his real face though. I, I think he's foot. Yeah, okay, so he's supposed to... Oh, okay, great. So this guy's psychotic. Oh, could put this in cross-dressing. Okay, so he's with trap cuties. Trap cuties? Okay, let's go into trap cuties real quick. This is a fun little dive. I'm not going to read the post. 
safer workplace for traps to feel welcomed and share advice. Would you be mad if I had a gawk? What the fuck is a gawk? Ugh. Okay, so this is more the Thai lady boys, I would think. Oh, no thanks. Is this an okay gym outfit? Nope. Ugh. Would you let me trap you? Oh! Go by horses. Oh my god! Oh man, I thought Alexis Arquette was dead. I'm not doing that. I feel like this this one is more for the gays. Okay, this is the gay ones. I don't want to see those guys because they're they're really they're actually way more sexual in a way that I just find kind of sad. This is Jesus Christ, you guys. You really need to stop doing this thing where you, you try to see what you might look like with the filters. Oi, this guy is so sick. Facetune has done untold damage on society. This is how you develop body dysmorphia, guys. You're not going to get there. Okay, one and a half years on HRT today. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, he's reminded me of someone. Louis Theroux? Okay, well, you know, see here, see, see what did I say? The the middle part, the closer you get to the middle, the easier it's going to be to cover your your um, uh, your meal pattern baldness. But you should never wear a ponytail. That's going to give it up right away. Who does this motherfucker remind me of? My money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. Oh, I like to see you wiggle. I'll get there eventually. I'll, I'll put it in. I do feel like there's definitely some editing here. And he's doing the pout. Yeah, I, I see the trick. Thinning, thinning hair. Yeah, the longer you get that hair grown out, you should just go to the wig because you think that if you have it longer, it's going to look less thin and manly. But it's actually, it's it's a fallacy. And, and I learned this from uh, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, 2000s version, not the one with that crying fop JVN, uh, who I actually used to really enjoy, but then he, he transed. Now he's just a big fat bloke, huh? Uh, sad because he's, he's, he can be funny, but now he now he just cries a lot because of trans kids. I wish that people were as passionate about little kids being able to like be included or grow up as they were about fictitious women's fairness in sports. I have to tell you, I am very tired. He's realized. He's like, I guess I've committed to this. You know, it's the sunk cost fallacy eyes, right? That's why he still looks kind of sad because he's kind of realized like this is what he's committed to. There's. He thinks there's no going back. And in a sense, there isn't because of the brain damage he's done from watching so much um, deviant porn. Um, but the, but it is reparable. It's, it's not, you can rewire your brain. It's possible. I've done it. I, I would highly recommend it. However, you will get to a point, though, of a point of no return. And I think he sees it coming. Oh I think he sees okay, the point of no me. return coming. I think that's what that is. That's, yeah, he, he's, 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 he's really wrestling with himself. But he's, he's, he's losing. He looks like, you know, he was probably a pretty attractive bloke before all this. Um, you know, but you can't cure that incel with with trans. You know, I know you think you're trans maxing, but such a shame. If you just developed a personality, probably could have gotten a, a nice girlfriend. Um, but then again, you still could have gotten addicted to porn and then, <laughs> you know, drag her to Claris to get your fucking ears pierced. All right. Get onto this. Embracing your Canadian heritage of what? <laughs> Maple syrup? Hockey? Letter Kenny? Trailer Park Boys? Full blown communism? Nigga, what the fuck is this bullshit? Oh, this guy again. <laughs> See, he's hands he stands so far away from the mirror because the closer you get the more you can i but i can still see the five o'clock shadow from here right right terrible blush um terrible application i was right about the wig placement it wasn't right it, it's still wrong you, you know maybe put the beanie back on i feel like the beanie's more canadian right or one of those like uncle buck also you put on a plaid shirt and you're embracing your canadian heritage okay actually if you wanted to really embrace your canadian heritage you would have done the denim tuxedo but you don't know anything about culture. That's that's fine. Let's see. Oh God! <laughs> that's great. Hands, feet, um, big. Oh my God! Look at him, Andy Circus. Is that you? Yeah. Even from here, the eye, I can see it. Somebody needs to teach you how to take a selfie properly. Uh, but no amount of proper selfies is going to cure man 
man hips, right? Man hips, big shoulders. Look at those beefy arms, right? We already talked about hands and clown feet. I'll give him credit for keeping his room. Your room. Put it in order. That makes me think that at least he, well, organized serial killer. <laughs> sister was like you what if these people could sue you for saying this stuff you, you're you're saying it like it's true i think it goes without saying this is this is a satire uh, uh uh channel and this is all speculation you know i'm speculating that he's a highly organized serial killer and i'll tell you why i've watched a lot of criminal minds his room is clean you don't see that often with the, with the trans your room um, put it in order i think the agps tend to be a little more on the clean room side um depending on how deviant they are, and also depending on, because here's the thing, let's talk about this, pseudo-bisexuality. Uh, the way we talk about it is like, it, it only develops in straight men. It doesn't, it develops in gay men too, the pseudo-bisexuality, if, if they go down the cross-dressing path. And I'll tell you why I know this, because I was friends with a, uh, a cross-dresser, a drag, drag queen, but it was definitely fetishistic. And, you know, he, he gave in to the, you know, trans men are real men and, um, you fucked a big fat female tranny who we played Dungeons and Dragons with. And and after that, he kind of changed, you know, and I don't think it was because he was embracing coming out. Oh, I'm actually, I've been bisexual this whole time. No, 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 no. That was the porn. That was the trans man porn he was watching, probably the, the Buck Angel. Gross. You know, we like oh. to pretend that, that it doesn't have as damaging an effect on society. But 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 I'll tell you what's really scary is a big fat yes. who's now really interested in having sex with you. That's scary. That's also Buffalo Bill shit. Is he a great big fat person? And uh, yeah, I, I, that's around the time where I was like, I got to get away from these fucking people um, because the pseudo bisexuality can develop an extremely deviant gay guys, especially if they're cross-dressing, especially if they're doing drag, because uh, that's where a lot of those trans guys hang out. And, and, and I will say that the, the trans drag kings, you know, they, 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 they certainly can present themselves in a way that I, I think would get an unsuspecting, very porn rotted up until that point, homosexual man be like, huh, huh, maybe I could do that. There are some men where it is like they will fuck anything. Um, here's a fun story. I knew a, a trans identified female who, uh, she was one of the people who convinced me that testosterone was really awesome to try. Um, and and, and I, I shouldn't have listened to her because she she then told me about how she had a grinder hookup come over and, um, you know, she, they fucked in the ass because uh, that guy was not into pussy, obviously. He was able to like, close it out his eyes and pretend it was a man long enough because, you know, again, he was in the butthole. Uh, and as Andrea Long Chu called it, it's it's the universal vagina, which I don't agree with at all. The asshole is the universal vagina. But that's, that's how these people think. Okay. So, um... Uh, you know, if you got a chaser who's into the F the uh, FTMs, they'll think of it that way. Anyways, after he was done, he stuck meth. He shoved meth <laughs> up her asshole. <laughs> That's why you don't live in Los Angeles. That's why you 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 need to not live there. You you need to. We should actually take Los Angeles and kind of just cut it out and push it into the ocean. So let, let's end on this bloke though, Canadian. <laughs> Just like Jordan Peterson. You know what? He does take Jordan Peterson's advice. Clean your bloody room. Stop watching deviant porn. What the hell's wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Stay stunning and stay brave. <laughs>